On behalf of councillors, uh, my fellow councillors, welcome you here um, this afternoon. Uh, we we have been through the uh, recruitment process for our CEO uh, since uh, February, uh, after the resignation of our previous CEO, Gavin Cater, in uh, at the end of 2011. The process uh, kicked off in uh, February with Ernest uh, through an independent um, recruitment company and uh, the campaign was run across the country with uh, marketing across Australia and indeed um, throughout New Zealand as well. The um, acting position was taken by uh, Patience Harrington who has been a director and an employee with the city for a number of years, in fact around 12 years. And uh, can I say to you that Patience uh, has been doing an absolutely outstanding job in the acting capacity. It's not always easy to come in uh, to an acting role of such significance and importance in the community. And I can say on behalf of Council that uh, Patience has done a great job in that, in that space. And we thank her for that. Um, Council also took the opportunity to review the position to some degree as far as the key uh, skills, experiences and traits and attributes that uh, we felt were necessary as a Council to take the organisation and indeed the city forward. And to that end, took the opportunity to really do some focus on commitment to innovation and provision of high community service, and I'll just read through a couple of these if I may. Uh, ability to inspire and lead a dynamic organisation, sound financial management and outstanding communication and interpersonal skills. But even more than this, we took the opportunity to look for an individual with high quality business and political acumen, uh, uh, understand someone who understood the uh, political and social issues of all of our stakeholders, including our community, uh, the industry, industry and business groups, and all levels of government. But importantly, they also needed to have a passion and an unwavering passion for, for our city and our city's future. In short, we were looking for an outstanding candidate to active, actively lead and drive and build Wodonga into a major regional city. The recruitment process, as I said before, was far and wide. We received an application suite of 28 quality applications from across the country as well as New Zealand. The final stages of the process were completed early this week and it gives me great pleasure to formally announce that Patience Harrington has been appointed the CEO for the City of Wodonga and I'd ask her to join me at this stage. So before I hand over to Patience, can I just say on behalf of the councillors that Patience throughout her acting role uh, with the city and throughout the recruitment process has demonstrated outstanding capacity as a true leader for our community and our city. A leader who articulates the vision of the city and where we want to take the city but importantly also makes the connection between outcomes and actions and delivery. Her personal and professional attributes and her absolute passion for our city, our organisation and our community are without question and will see us well for the future. This appointment goes to demonstrate, I think, also the strength of our organisation when you can run a national campaign and end up recruiting a high quality candidate from within your own organisation. And I think that's a strength of succession planning. It's also a strength, in my mind, to how our city operates and how our organisation operates. We are fortunate indeed to have such a high calibre candidate as our CEO to take us and lead us in conjunction with our council into the future. I welcome her and congratulate her and know that she will be an outstanding CEO of the future for this city. Thank you. And I'd now like to hand over to our new CEO. Thank you. I'm very proud and very privileged to be appointed to this position of CEO of the City of Wodonga. I'm very proud and very privileged to work with citizens, but especially to work with a group of councils, who both as councillors, who collectively and individually demonstrate an amazing commitment to the current and future vision of this city. I am as excited about working for the city of Wodonga as I was when I started here 10 years ago. And now that I look to the future, the, the potential for this city in terms of building it a heart in our city, the central business district, seeing residential development that offers quality of life second to none, and seeing services that we continue to offer to make sure that our citizens enjoy the, the services that they deserve. I'm also proud and privileged to be working with a group of people in our organisation 
who day to day demonstrate their capacity to go over and above to deliver what this city needs to, su to survive on a day to day basis, but also into this future. I'm going to be working with councillors and in partnership with the community to demonstrate strong fiscal management, but to also ensure that the quality that we've been delivering to this city, that future leaders, that previous leaders and previous councillors have built, continues to be so, continues to provide a quality of life in, in this city, which is second to none. Thank you. Thank you, folks.